she makes sure that the extender is uh, uh, mixed up and that it's uh, not too much in one particular part of the bag. And she is now pouring in the extender into this to the semen that was just collected. Okay, that part is done. Marissa will now be taking a sample um, just to a second eyeball check. We make sure every collection is checked twice, once by the computer and once by uh, uh, someone in the laboratory before it is shipped out. So she is taking her transfer pipette. She is now walking over to our microscope. And she will prepare just a, uh, a little sample here on our slide warmer. We've got all of our slides on there already warmed up. Um, unfortunately, with the extender that we use, after it has cooled down, uh, the sperm cells go to sleep. So this is the only time where we can look at a sperm sample uh, at this point without having to warm it up to another temperature. So Marissa is now going to put this uh, onto the microscope. And uh, we have a pretty good idea that this is going to be a, a pretty good collection because we just saw the uh, original semen quality up on the computer just about 60 seconds ago. But she is doing a second take here. <clears throat> and uh, looks like she has given that the okay. So she's going to spin around here. And uh, all the semen that we ship out here at Prairie State is dyed different colors. Uh, this first bore that we did here this morning is a Chester White, and the Chester Whites are dyed yellow. So she is going to be taking our semen dye and be dropping in a few drops of color into this collection. Now you might ask, why do we dye the semen that we have here at our place? And the reason is fairly simple. As you can see right now, in its current state, that bag was, was clear. And uh, by the time we get, one, get done with overrun semen here at Prairie State, we could have anywhere up to 90 collections uh, that we need to get packaged for UPS in a short amount of time. So this way, by having different colors for different breeds, when we're in the packing room and we've got a short amount of time to get everything packed up, we can get everything done in a timely fashion. So Marissa is now putting her tubes into the tube holder and she will pour by hand the semen into these tubes. We have a heat sealed, um, a, a tube heat sealer behind her that uh, upon her pouring the semen into these tubes, she'll simply put that rack into the machine push a button and within 12 seconds all six of those semen tubes will be sealed tightly. This is uh, the first couple times you do it is not the easiest job in the world to pour semen into those little tubes but uh, uh, I'd say uh, with Marissa working here the last two or three years she's probably done this a couple thousand times and could probably almost do it in, with her eyes closed at this point. So we typically do it in racks of six so she's going to do one quick rack here for us and then we'll show you how the tube sealer works and the next process uh, that will follow. Okay, you see her now taking a sample of that semen. We keep uh, semen samples back from every collection so that way if you have any questions on any of the, uh, the semen that you get at your house um, we can always look at those samples normally at day three and day five post collection. So those samples tubes just went into the uh, tube sealer here and uh, as you can see uh, they're all lined up there. It'll take about 12 seconds. There we go. It just popped out. Marissa comes over here and we've got a, uh, we pre-print all of our labels here and uh, she will take the labels and she will now apply them to the semen tubes. So each and every tube that leaves Prairie State is squeezed before it leaves here to ensure we have a good seal. Um, she will now put the stickers on. After the stickers is on, she will carry it back to a, uh, a metal tray that we have in another room. There goes the sample. And uh, she will take out those uh, tubes and carry them back to the tray. And after we get a full tray full, that, uh, that tray will be carried back to our semen cooling and packing room. 
and that is a special room where we uh, we cool down the semen prior to shipment that we keep typically between 60 and 64 degrees. So here she is. These are the type of uh, these are the type of racks that we utilize here at Prairie State, and uh, she is putting the semen on there. And typically we'd wait for four bores, but just for demonstration purposes, we will follow Marissa back to the cool room. Sounds like we're having quite a thunderstorm outside right now. Marissa is going into the cool room and putting it on the racks. So folks, you just saw a tour on how we process semen here at Prairie State. That's one bore down. And on a busy day, just uh, think about doing 89 more of those and trying to get that done in five or six hour periods. So thanks Marissa for your help. And uh, if you ever have any questions about semen quality here at Prairie State, be uh, feel free to give us a call here. Thank you.